From land fights by soldiers to air fights between tiny unmanned aerial vehicles, this defense world has revolutionized extremely. This contemporary phase of the defense world is a clear picture of what the future battlefield looks like. Just advanced aerial vehicles fighting and no individuals risking their lives. This incredible and dramatic change took decades and finally we have some revolutionary drones like Bayraktar TB2. This extraordinarily designed drone by Turkey is proving to be a game changer for Ukraine in the ongoing war. What is so lethal about Turkey manufactured UAVs? Will this TB2 continue to dominate the defensive drone sector in the future? Let's buckle down to find some fascinating and up-to-date news revolving the Bayraktar TB2 UAV and how it's a game changer. What's the design of the Bayraktar TB2 UAV? This Turkish manufactured stealthy unmanned aerial vehicle is a secret power pack of some extraordinary features. This flat grey TB2 drone is a tiny piece of equipment with angled wings and a rear propeller that is advanced enough to carry laser guided bombs with it. This lethal minute combat equipment can be easily carried in a flatbed truck and costs barely when compared to other drones owned by Israel and Americans. The buzzed unmanned aerial vehicle owned by several countries is amazingly designed by Silkuk Bayraktar, a son of the Turkish auto parts entrepreneur who is a lead and brilliant manufacturer of combat weapons. When did this stealthy drone come into existence? This stealthy drone was reported to successfully complete its first ever kill in 2016. Not only Ukraine, but there are 13 other nations to whom this lethal drone is sold and is used several times during different wars. To date, TB2 has been deployed for 800 strikes. These drones are performing so efficiently that they hit the accurate target in a stipulated time period. This would be the first ever tiny low-lying drone with conventional combat capabilities. During several wars between North America, the Caucasus, Azerbaijan and Armenia, Azerbaijan's dictatorial leader, these UAVs were used. In whichever wars it was used, it had shown significant operational revolution, which is in very rare case scenarios. Are Ukrainians using these lethal drones because of increasing tension? When the Russians invaded Ukraine's borders, there were many myths about the lightweight defenseless drones owned by Ukraine's naval force. The public and other nations assumed that those tiny and non-fatal drones would shoot down and lend upon the land within just a fraction of minutes. This is because Russians are amazingly equipped with long-range cruise missiles which can destroy drones, short-range missile systems which can be proved lethal for the drones in the air, and also have electronic jammers which can block the communication for drones. But the tables turned all around when Ukraine revealed the Bayraktar TB2 unmanned aerial vehicle. This drone has become a legend during the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. A manufacturer of this lethal drone claimed, it makes ghosts out of Russian bandits. This crisp and confident statement says it all. And the fascinating part about these lethal drones is it is not only used for still flying, but these drones can also be used for shooting guided missiles and tanks and supply trains. Also, these drones act as a jammer, sensors, target designators, spotters, communications, relay and also as decoys. However, these drones lack speed and range, but are still versatile tools as they can perform several very tasks at a time. From gathering intelligence, conducting keen surveillance and undertaking reconnaissance operations, this TB2 drone is excellent in every aspect. So with the insane capabilities possessed by TB2, UAV Russia failed to dominate the skies and Ukraine amazingly outperformed them. The Ukrainians in a really short period are effective at downing Russian aircraft. With this success, not only did Russians step back from ruling the skies, but they also limited their use of air vehicles. Because until the date Ukraine has disclosed some of the super powerful shoulder fired missiles and other weapons which has knocked down hundreds of Russian vehicles. This smart move by Ukraine against the Russians have been a deadly move for Russians as this had almost killed 5,000 to 6,000 Russian troops and damaged several tanks, missile launchers and trucks. How many TB2 drones were possessed by Ukraine? When the war commenced, it was reported that Ukrainians owned 20 Bayraktar TB2 drones and all of them were efficiently operating. Gradually, as the tensions grew, few of the drones were shot down by the Russians, though there was no such exact clarity on how many were shot and finally how many were active. In the contemporary defense world, investing heavily in air superiority is the best decision every nation could make. With super advanced and lethal air weapons, any defensive nation can counterattack its rivals with efficiency. Russians had some strategic plans, but all went in vain when Ukraine's navy revealed its wild card. 
Before diving deeper to know everything about the US's dreadful tiny drones, make sure you subscribe to our channel to learn more about incredible drones and defense equipment that'll revolutionize the defense system. The revolutionary drone is grabbing all the headlines and has been a game changer for the war between Russia and Ukraine. One more such revolutionary drone has been proved to be super powerful and useful during the war is the US-owned Switchblades. Introduced and developed by the US Army, the Switchblade drone came into existence in 2011. There are certainly two types of such tiny drones, namely Switchblade 300 and Switchblade 600, which were ready to shoot up in 2015 and 2020 respectively. These newly hyped backpackable drones were inexpensive and at the same time had sensors installed at them which helped them to spot the rival or the target area and significantly a fiery warhead that can attack the target area and destroy it awfully. These can be specially used to attack dug-in positions like rooftops or ridgelines. This backpackable drone is installed with a color camera and a GPS locating which identifies, tracks and engages with the correct targets. Interestingly, it can be pre-programmed during a collision course and the best part about this Switchblade 300 is that it has an explosive warhead that is equivalent to a 40mm grenade which can destroy lightweight, armed vessels or even human opponents. It has a teeny weeny electric engine in it and it can rush at a range of 85 knots which makes it difficult to detect or try to intercept the target. And yes, once the missile is launched it can be waved off and the target can be reassigned, however, it cannot be recovered once it's launched. Hundreds of Switchblade 300 and Switchblade 600 are transported to Ukraine where they are easy to use and are cheaper when compared to other drones. Another such revolutionary drone is still a prominent player and is planned in collaboration with the Israeli Directorate of Defense Research and Development and the US Combating Terrorism Technical Support Office Nation. They want to entirely automate these systems, hand them over to machines and replace humans. Engineers are planning to automate the system to the extent to which piloting the drone will also not need humans. It's a human-centric full-sensory mind drone, a Wolverine Gen 2 drone. These unmanned systems are versatile, flimsy and consume very less power compared to other small unmanned systems. These powerful drones will be specially used as shields to ground troops, especially when they are on threatening missions. The best and most appealing part of this Wolverine Gen 2 drone is that it can be operated by any individual, even if he or she does not have any flight experience. With minimal or even no prior training, operators can perform precise remote tasks by operating intuitively in the field with complete autonomy. All this has become possible because of the amazing dedicated technology behind it. The technology embedded in a drone can easily be compared with technology in a smartphone where such a tiny device can perform multiple tasks and use different types of applications at a time. The drone is installed with unique centric machine interface technology developed by Xtend which amazingly signifies sensory awareness and is a perfect blend of super advanced virtual and augmented reality technologies and also advanced machine learning flight algorithms. One can easily operate such a complex system by using wearable lightweight systems and with some natural hand gesture recognition controllers. The autonomous drone can be operated in remote environments, especially without any physical risks. The excellent featureization in the second generation drone by Israel, it can carry out day and night seamless operations, set the system according to the pre-planned autonomous patrol missions, easily navigate in GPS GNSS restricted environments and also carry out crane view operations and is well known for precision pick and drop capabilities. Be it Switchblades, Wolverine Gen 2 drones or the Game Changer TB2 drones, these unmanned aerial vehicles are amazingly flaunting their uniqueness and ruling the skies. These revolutionary drones will soon be replacing humans and providing really efficient combat equipment just like they proved in the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Agree or not? So what are your thoughts on this TB2 drone manufactured by Turkey and owned by various other nations? Will it help Ukraine to continue to rule the skies? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And before we wrap up, if you're interested in other fascinating things about combat drones, then make sure to check out our detailed video on Switchblades, which has horrified the other nations, including Russia. You can go check this out after the video. And if you enjoyed watching it, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.